Hello everybody and welcome back where well, there's been a brand new update on No Man's Sky as of I want to say two or three days ago depending on when this uh, video goes live with this the orbital update which is overhaul of space station visuals interior space stations and our procedure degenerated I believe uh, you can customize your own uh, starship and there are improvements to guild and trading systems which I don't really dabble in too much but what I do dabble in is wow a new uh, the main menu it seems um, what I do dabble in a lot is, is flying around exploring, especially the space stations and stuff. So, I am more than excited to jump back into this game and have a look around. It's always a great excuse to come play some No Man's Sky, uh, and this is no different whenever an update drops. Whole... I mean, I was hoping to start off on a planet so I could land and see the space station, but, but here we are. And that is massive, the scale of that hangar. Or like the the in like the docking place. So here's our ship, and holy shit! Now, um, the, I mean the core's been reworked completely. It's like an actual full like, overhaul. Not just like, not not just not just the outside. I knew it was procedural, but Jesus, this is gonna make everything a lot more different when you when you're going around. So this is like a currency station over here. Okay, so I get a little wall to tell me I can't go that way. <laughs> That's cool. It's got a like, branding on it, though. This is my customization station, and I'm assuming this is my Starship customization station. Yes. So I can make my own one, right? Different fuselages. Cool. Okay. So you can make Starships that you've kind of never seen before. That's really sick. Different wings, fins, afterburners. So you can make, like, different types. I do like explorers. God damn, there's so much stuff. That's really cool. They, they've done that. I'm very happy with my ship, so I'm not going to go through and mess with it. But I can outfit mine here, right? Yeah. Upgrade Starship. Don't want to salvage it. Can I upgrade it again, or is that... There we go. To be honest, I don't think we need that. But wow, this is cool. There's a little... Mission agent. The little plants around. So all of these will be different when you go to them. That is a weird looking ship right there. Game still looks as good as ever, although that is a lot longer than it was before. So there's, you can see a bit of aliasing in the far distance, but that's just like a, that's kind of the same in every game. And because the render distance is so far, the pixels only have so much to show you in terms of uh, actual information. But oh my God, this is sick. There's like a GLaDOS looking core machine up there. This is nuts, right. Let's go have a little explore and look what the outside of the space station looks like and then go look at some other ones because this is nuts. <laughs> How different they look. That's so cool. I was recently as well um, having a look at the Twitter thread of one of the developers for this game. Wow. Um, and they were saying the amount of work that goes into each update is immense in terms of playtesting. And making sure it works on all platforms and all VR headsets and on all, basically on everything. That's so sick. It's like a brand new thing. I think the the shapes do vary a lot, but like that is pretty nuts compared to how it used to look. But it's a similar shape, so let's go have a travel somewhere else. Oh, bit of a frame drop there. I've been getting them a little bit more, and I think that's that's more common in the community. I've seen some people talking about it. There are some certain instances now where frame drops do happen, and I hope they work on that. But it's it's few and far between. I'm really not too uh, I'm really not too bothered by it. Most of the time, it runs pretty flawlessly. So, hang on a minute. That's one of them there. That looks like some some fucking Battlestar thing. Look at that. Is this the entrance here, or is it? Yeah, it is. That's so cool. They're so different. They remind me a lot of the um, Elite Dangerous space stations now. With these, like, gates where you go through. In we go. That's so sick. So I think the overall layout is pretty similar with the interiors. It's just been kind of revamped a bit. Because the old layout, I don't know, it made sense, but it was a little bit... It took a while to get to certain points. Um, and that is a different core than the last one I was in. So I think that is what the procedural generation is kind of talking about. It's like the colors. But I think the shops will be in the same place just to keep it easy. 
I'm assuming, and then like the different NPCs will, will be will be switched around, and then maybe this stuff will be different. Look, like they've done, they've put in proper animation work to like the the station to make it feel alive. They did not need to do that. They did not need to do that. How far can I run? I'm assuming it's just this barrier and it'll stop me, but I really hope I can run all the way down. Oh, hang on. If I can run to the end of this, I will be so happy. That's sick. Oh, that's so quick. I can actually just run to the end of this. I thought there'd be an invisible barrier or wall. Or maybe this is it. Look, it's got different lighting. Or maybe not. I can just keep going. That's so sick that I can just keep going. That is megalophobic as hell. That's huge. What the hell? Please let me like... No, this is the closest I can go. That's still cool, though. Does mean I have to run all the way back, though. But that's okay. Okay, let's head out and have a little explore. Like we always do. Actually, let's let's have a look at this quagmire moon first. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have a little flyover of the quagmire moon, at least. This is like some Dagobah stuff. Bloody hell. Oh my god. That is terrifying. Seeing that that close. We'll have a little look around the swamp. Because every time there's an update, I'll check out the new stuff. And then we've also got to have a look at just the general system that we land in. It's raining. Oh, my hands are wet. Look. That's cool. It's a very thick undergrowth. This is the type of stuff that I expect from Light No Fire when it comes out. And hopefully that'll also have PSVR 2 support. Oh, there's a fleet. Let's have a little flyby. Say hello. Nyong. I'm hoping this planet looks cool. Otherwise, I'm going to be very upset. And that'll be a very sad end to the video. But, you know, I think it'll be fine. But seriously, like the, today's update, they did not need to do that. They did not need to overhaul all the space stations to make them look different. Like, there was no need. But they just keep updating this game and making it better and better. It's very, like, don't get me wrong, it's a very, very good thing. But they fixed the game a long time ago. <laughs> they didn't need to keep adding things. But they have, and that is probably going to cause the next game to have a lot of sales when it launches. I want to land on this little mountain here. So cool. It's becoming night, I think. This is sick. Look at this like, little paradise place. Maybe I should build a base here at some point. The only base I have on this save is on that volcano planet, because I thought it was cool. Okay, sun's back out. I guess it just went minor cloud. Oh, yeah, it did. I did find a planet in this series a little while ago that was similar to this, in terms of sand and beaches. But it was... There was no background music, and it felt really eerie. Whereas this is not nice blue water. Looks really cool. Big fan. And there's background music that's kicking in and it's feeling very serene. But on the other planet, a couple videos ago, I want to say like 10 videos ago or something. It's in the thumbnail, what I found was just a bunch of like sandworms. Which is why there was no background music and it felt really off and very still. And then suddenly a sandworm jumped out and scared the shit out of me. That's sick. Okay, this is where I wanted to get to. A little bank with water either side. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. Oh, uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, hello. Unidentified plant. Said very peaceful. Now suddenly, superheated rainstorm and Venus flytraps. That's cool. They got like starfish. Anyway, as the storm rolls in, and now it's starting to happen, uh, I'll wrap up today's video. It's just a little look at the new space stations and a bit of an explore, as we always do. Thank you all for watching and joining me on this little adventure. I hope you did enjoy. Thank you to our patrons, Luke Bentley, Ace Gamer, Hazit Mirza, and Phil Irving. You guys continue to support the channel day after day and month after month with your donations, so thank you all for that. It helps me do what I do. If you want to join the Patreon or YouTube membership, the links are in the description below. Thank you all for watching once again, and I hope to see you all in the next video.